Welcome to Erica's English. Expand your vocabulary. Let's learn compound words with water. In this video, we will learn all of these words with water. I'll explain some of them at the beach by drawing in the sand and the rest I will explain in Quizlet. There will be a test in Quizlet at the end. English that's practical, fun, but still grammar focused and still pedagogical. Enjoy English in a practical way, hands-on, environmental, experiencing culture, lifestyle, and so on. Waterline. <laughs> yeah, that was actually the waterline just then. It's where the water comes up to. Do you know this word? Water and fall. Waterfall. It's water that is falling from a higher part. Do you know water skiing? Do you like to water ski? So skiing on the water is called water skiing. Water skiing. Now, let's learn more compound words with water in Quizlet. There is also a link in the description for you to study the words later on your mobile phone or online. Anyway, let's study them together. Let's go to flashcards. How do you describe when something doesn't allow water to go through it. What's the adjective? Like a phone. When a phone doesn't allow water to go through it, it is waterproof. What is a type of paint that you mix with water? It's watercolour. Watercolour comes in many different colours. It's a water-based paint. What is a translucent design impressed on paper during the manufacture and visible when the paper is held to the light? Like, for example, dollar bills have this mark on them, which you can see when you hold it up to a window. What is it? It starts with water. It's a watermark. How do you describe something that is along the water's edge? It's an adjective. Waterfront. For example, waterfront houses, waterfront buildings, waterfront shops, a waterfront park. What is a large roundish fruit with a striped green rind and soft pink watery pulp? It starts with water. It's a watermelon. Watermelon. What is a stream of water or a channel for water? This one is windy. It's a watercourse. A watercourse. What is a water system, including reservoirs, so water for drinking, tanks, buildings, pumps, pipes, 
that supplies water to a city or town? It's the waterworks. Most modern cities and towns have waterworks. What is a plant often used in soups and salads that is crisp, peppery and peppery tasting? Do you know it? It's watercress, watercress. What are aquatic birds? For example, herons, ducks, storks, penguins, cranes. Birds that live on the water or they eat from the water, they swim. How do we describe them? Or what is the noun we use for such birds? They are water birds, water birds. How do you describe something that is impossible to prove wrong or argue against? It's an adjective. It's watertight. So they had a watertight argument. Nobody could argue with their argument. Their facts were watertight. What is a stream of water that falls from a high place? For example, Niagara Falls, Victoria Falls. It's a waterfall. It's a waterfall. What is a body of water that boats can use? Notice how narrow and straight this one is. It's a waterway. A waterway. Often it is man made. How about the verb to give too much water to? So if you give too much water to a plant, you overwater it. So you can overwater plants too. You can give them too much water. What is the water that is beneath the Earth's surface, where a lot of drinking water comes from? It's groundwater. So it comes from under the ground, groundwater. What is the water that overflows from a river, lake, and so on during a flood? So when there's a lot of water, it's flood water, flood water. What is water that has been used as for washing, flushing or in a manufacturing process, which has waste products and sewage in it? So it's very dirty water. It's waste water, waste water. Wastewater needs treating. What is inland water, as ponds, lakes or streams, that is not salty? It's good for drinking. It is fresh water, fresh water. Below water, so something that is below water, another word for below, below the surface is underwater, underwater. So when you are below the surface of the water, you are underwater. How about water in which dishes and cooking utensils are washed? What is the name for this water that sits in the sink that is dirty? Well, a little bit dirty, it has soap in it. It's dishwater, dishwater. Sometimes we also say a person is as dull as dishwater, so they're very boring, just like dirty water in a sink. It's a very, it's a, an insulting thing to say.
How about water in a bath? What do you call this water? It's bath water. How about water from rain? What do you call water from rain? It's rainwater. Rainwater. How about a place or condition in which no development or progress is occurring? With water in it. It's a backwater. So it's like a, a little town in the middle of nowhere. It's a very isolated city. It's a little bit boring. This is quite a negative word. Backwater. How about um, something that is uh, found in salt water or living in the sea? It's salt water. For example, salt water fish is a fish that lives in salty water. Salt water fish, so it's like two nouns. It's like an adjectival noun. How about the water with a rose smell used for cooking or for perfume, like in Turkish delight? What's this called? It's rose water. Rose water. How about water that is deep? What do we call this? It's deep water. It's a deep water sea creature. It's a deep water fish. How about an um, adjective describing something that is painful or extremely unpleasant? It has water in it. It might even make you feel like crying. It is so unpleasant. It's eye watering. It makes your eyes water, almost like crying. It's eye-watering. So sad it's eye-watering. How about um, the word for crying? It's an informal word to put on this to make, your, to make yourself cry. Waterworks. So she put on the waterworks, so she started crying. It's an informal term. Okay, so how did you do? Anyway, so try to study these um, in the link in the description. Okay, so now I will test you again, but this time I will start with the word and you try and guess the definition. Of course, you can study these further using the link in the description. What is a watercourse? It's a stream of water or a channel for water. Watercourse. What is rose water? It's water with a rose smell used for cooking or perfume. For example, in Turkish delight, rose water. What is watermark? Watermark. It's a translucent design, which is often on money. And you can see it when the paper is held up to the light. It is a watermark. Watermark. Watertight. Watertight. What does this mean? Something that is impossible to prove wrong or argue against. It's a watertight argument.
It's an adjective describing it. Watertight. Waterway. What is a waterway? It's a body of water that boats can use. It's a body of water that boats can use. Waterway. Flood water. What is flood water? It's water that overflows from a river, lake, or during a flood. Flood water. What is groundwater? Groundwater is the water that is beneath the Earth's surface, under the ground. Groundwater. What is a watermelon? Do you like watermelons? A watermelon is a large roundish fruit with a striped green rind and soft pink watery pulp. It's a watermelon. What are waterworks, but which one is it? It's crying. To put on the waterworks is to put on the tears to make people feel sorry for you. Waterworks, or here come the waterworks. It's like she, she's starting to cry, or he's starting to cry. Waterfall. Waterfall, what does it mean? It's a stream of water that falls from a high place. For example, Niagara Falls, Victoria Falls, Waterfall. Rainwater, what is rain water? It's water from rain. It comes from the sky, rainwater. Fresh water. What is fresh water? It's inland water. It's in ponds. It's in lakes. It's in streams. It's not salty. It's usually very good for drinking. Comes, it comes straight from the sky. It's fresh water. What is waterfront? It's to describe something that's along the water's edge, waterfront, buildings, a waterfront park, waterfront. Waterbirds. What are waterbirds? Waterbirds are aquatic birds, herons, ducks, storks, penguins, cranes, birds that like the water, that swim in the water. They are water birds. Backwater. What does this mean? It's a place where there's no development or progress occurring. It's a backwater. A little town, for example, is a backwater. Well, a town that's isolated, that doesn't have many people. It's very quiet. Waterworks. What is the more formal waterworks noun? It's the water system with the tanks, buildings, pumps and pipes that supplies water to a city or town. Waterworks. Eye-watering. What's this adjective? It's when something is painful or extremely unpleasant. It's eye-watering. Underwater. What does that mean? For example, underwater gear or underwater plants or it's below water. So it's a gear that you use below the water, underwater gear. Deep water. What's deep water? It's water that is deep. Deep down, under the, the bottom of the ocean, 
and so forth. Deep water. Watercress. What's watercress? It's a plant often used in soups and salads that has crisp, peppery tasting leaves. It's watercress. What's waterproof? What's the adjective? What does the adjective waterproof mean? It's something that doesn't, it describes something that doesn't allow water to go through it. It's waterproof. Bath water. What is bath water? It's water in a bath. Bath water. Salt water. What's salt water? It's water that has salt in it. Or it describes things that live in the sea. Salt water fish, for example. Watercolour. What does watercolour mean? It's a type of paint that you mix with water. Watercolour paintings are beautiful. They have a watery look. Overwater. What's, what does this verb mean? To give some too much water to something is to overwater it. Overwater. Dishwater. What's dishwater? It's water in which dishes and cooking utensils are washed. Dishwater. It's water that sits in the sink. It is soapy. Dishwater. Wastewater. What's wastewater? It's water that is dirty, it's being used for washing, flushing, manufacturing, it contains waste products and even sewage. So it's very dirty water. It's waste water. Okay, so I hope you did well at that Quizlet um, test. Don't worry if you didn't do well. We can't expect to learn so many words um, so quickly, but you do learn words quickly when you practice them very often in Quizlet. Practice the words every day, even twice a day, five minutes twice a day, and you will learn English very fast. Anyway, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.